Now, if you're someone like me and hates shaky footage, then this is the video for you. Today, we're going over how you can instantly remove shaky footage from your videos by using the warp stabilizer effect in Premiere Pro. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, to stabilize your footage inside Premiere Pro, firstly, you want to go ahead and create a timeline. To make this nice and quick and simple, I've simply added one clip that's five seconds long. If I go ahead and play it black, you can see that there's a little bit of shake and a little bit of wobble to this video. I wanna make it look nice and rock solid. To do that, all we need to do is add a warp stabilizer effect. So with our clip selected, go to the top right-hand corner where you can find your effects panel and simply go ahead and type in warp. The one you want to add in is warp stabilizer. If your clip is selected, go ahead and simply double click. This will automatically start analyzing your clip and then what it will do is it will start stabilizing it. Now, straight out of the gate, it might not necessarily work. So we might wanna go into our actual settings, our effects settings to actually change it and customize it to get the most out of this tool. So as you can see, once it's added in, it's added in this odd jelloing effect and it still hasn't totally worked. So what we can do is go to our effects controls go down to where it says stabilization and we can change the type of stabilization we're adding in. So we can add in no motion or smooth motion. Every time you click, it will re-stabilize it. So, so it may take several seconds to do that. But if I go ahead to smooth motion, we can change the smoothness by going to this percentage slider here. I like dropping it down to around 25%, but it's depending on how much stabilization you want added to that clip. And then the last thing I recommend doing is going to our borders here, dropping down to where it says framing, then you've got a bunch of presets. You've got stabilize only, stabilize and crop, stabilize crop and auto scale, which is the one that I recommend, and then you've got synthesize edges. I don't recommend using the last one because it does end up creating these weird artifacts that just don't look realistic. So I'd either use stabilize only or stabilize crop and auto scale. Now, once you've done that, if you go ahead and click play, you hopefully should see that your clip is nice and stable thanks to the warp stabilization tool.